feels like a MacBook Pro in here, but what if it got switched out for a brick during shipping? Oh my God, what if I got scammed? When customers return items like a MacBook Pro, retailers like Best Buy are not sending them back to Apple. Instead, the product is inspected, repackaged, and sold as an open box return. Today, I'm going to unbox and inspect the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch laptop. And maybe this will be helpful in your decision. Did I mention that I got this MacBook Pro for over $500 off? While we're on the topic of money, do you want to win an Amazon gift card? Uh, calm down, it's only $25. You don't have to be rude about it either. Leave a comment under this video with the magic phrase within the first three hours of this video going live. The magic phrase is somewhere in this video and make sure you like and subscribe. For documentation purposes, this is how the box arrived. You can see right here, the shipping tape is, you know, I can put my hand all under this, you know, already. Look at this. Like, what is that? Spin this around. Look at this right here. I mean, sloppy. But let's go ahead and open this up. Hoping that a MacBook is in here. Praying. Nope, let's keep it on camera. My bad. Now, in a previous video, I told you guys to check out the open box cabin inside your local Best Buy. That's where you will see returns like this one and it will have a sticker on it labeling the condition of the electronic. This is labeled as excellent, no damage. And let's see, we have this tape all around that it says inspected by. Inspected by who? You wanna tell me your name? It just says inspected by, I guess that means just Best Buy because it has the Best Buy logo at the bottom. So this is completely taped up. I'm gonna to need to get my pair of uh, my knife just so I can just cleanly open this and not just rip it apart. How would I rate Best Buy packaging and shipping? Three out of five stars. I'm thankful that the package got to me, but Best Buy, you guys gotta get rid of the craft paper tape and use something more durable. You guys saw how flimsy the packaging tape was when it arrived. Let's figure out what's not inside the box. Ah, let me get this corner real quick. Make sure it's easy to come out. Okay, I cut all the tape away. Shake this out, I'm gonna shake it out. You know how annoyed I would be if there's no charger in here? Oh, oh wow, wait a minute. We still have the, the plastic on the outside? Huh? So let me just, this might be chaotic, but ugh. Okay, let me put this aside just for a second. Actually, no, let me keep it in camera because I ain't trying to have someone claiming I'm doing a switcheroo. We still have the designed by Apple in California. You know, everything is still here. Let me put this back like that. We have the charger. Here's the wire for the charger. And here is the charger itself down in the bottom. I mean, is this, so then this was a straight up return return. Like nobody, use this laptop at all did i get that lucky like what okay so that's the end of this packaging right i'm gonna look like a dummy doing this but <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's nothing else in here okay we're done with this so i'm not even going to open this yet because there still should be a charge on the laptop so i'm putting the uh, charging cable and the charger away The outside of this is immaculate. I mean, there's no scratching. This is new. This is new, new, and I got it as an open box return. Like, didn't see any fingerprints on it. So let's just open it up. I'm gonna spin it around so that you can see it. Still have this up here. I'm gonna take it off. Take it off. I still have to make sure everything works with the laptop, but thus far, how would I rate the Best Buy open box excellent option? Five out of five stars. I gotta say, so far the listing has lived up to its description. It looks brand new. It contains all the original parts and accessories, and it contains packaging. I read comments online that excellent and excellent certified are essentially the same things in terms of what you're getting. The real roll of the dice options are the satisfactory and fair conditions. For a future video, if you guys want me to buy something from the satisfactory or fair condition, 
leave a comment below letting me know that. Make sure you say the magic phrase W game. Now let's make sure I can turn this MacBook Pro on because if I can't, then obviously that will affect the five out of five rating. Now let's press the power button. Did I not press it long enough? Hello? Um, am I doing something wrong? That is the power button, right? Oh my God. <sighs> okay, so maybe this needs to charge. Let's, let's plug it up. Cause this right now is not, not my best moment. Ah. A laptop is not coming with some battery, you know, percentage already in there so that you can just open it and be like, because I thought that was still a thing. Okay, the light is on, which is good. Oh, there it goes. Here it is. The light just came on. The Apple logo is now on the screen. I have this little loading uh, bar, and there we go. So this just needed a charge. Whew, not gonna lie, had me in the first half. I'm going through, I'm selecting English, and this says recovery assistant. Select a Wi-Fi network from the menu or attach network cable to proceed. There is no network selected here. Huh? Time out. I had to take a break because I didn't know what I was doing anymore. I felt my body temperature rising when the MacBook Pro didn't turn on but that was resolved by charging the MacBook Pro. But for the next problem, I had to consult the internet. And man, did you guys come through. If you don't have a USB-C to Ethernet dongle to connect to a network cable, and if you don't see the Wi-Fi connection in the top right menu bar, don't freak out like I did. At the Activate Mac screen, just shut down the computer. Wait 10 to 30 seconds, then power it back on. When the system powers back up, that's when you will see the Wi-Fi connection option in the top right corner. Then you will be able to select your Wi-Fi network, enter the password and activate your Mac. Looking at the screen, there's nothing up here, no fingerprints, nothing. It looks great, it looks awesome. There are a few things you should watch out for when buying Openbox returns. The price on Openbox deals are not always worth it, especially for satisfactory or fair conditions. Is $140 off retail price for a satisfactory MacBook Pro worth it to you? Just know it may have moderate signs of use. In my opinion, I think the fair condition should start at $300 off. By the way, I bought my MacBook Pro during a $15.99 sale. That's why the price looked like an absolute steal in addition to it being an Openbox return. As for warranties, a warranty is included in your purchase. You can also just flat out return your MacBook Pro and select the reason why. When you buy online, it will show you your return by date. For example, mine is January 14th. Now, earlier in this video, I said MacBook Pros are inspected, repackaged, and sold. I want to clarify that Best Buy has its own checklist for testing and reviewing devices that are returned with the Openbox Excellence certified receiving the most rigorous testing. But I would not consider their inspection the same as an inspection from Apple. So if there's a defect that flies under the radar of their checklist, it's possible that defect will land in your hands. With that being said, you need to have a checklist when buying non-new MacBook Pros. Here's something to consider. Do all the ports work? USB-C, audio jack, card reader, HDMI port. Can you connect to Bluetooth? And does the Wi-Fi work? Does the battery charge to 100%? Does it hold a charge or does it jump straight down to 30%? Also, make sure you check the battery cycle count. You can do this by holding the option key and clicking the Apple menu. Choose system information and under the hardware section, select power. Under the health information, you should see the current cycle count. Also, make sure you check the physical condition of the laptop. I'm talking the screen, screws, scratches, and dents. Then make sure your trackpad works and your keyboard doesn't have any dead buttons. Over the last few days, I've done all of the things I've listed in this video. So at this point, my rating will remain unchanged. 